Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is out and I have seen it, which means it's time to give my thoughts and review on this movie. As always, this video will have spoilers, so if you want a video without spoilers, then head over to my shorts or my TikTok and check out my one take movie review on this movie. But without further ado, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com and let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Now going into this movie, I knew nothing about Dungeons and Dragons, and honestly, this movie wasn't half bad. I'm usually not all that into fantasy movies, but this movie did a solid job at introducing me to a new world and making it fun in the process. So in this movie, we follow a character named Edgen and a group of misfits. While trying to rescue Edgen's daughter, this group finds themselves looking for a lost relic and soon gets into something much bigger than they expected. As always, let's start off with the good. And I think one of the strongest parts of this movie were its characters. In particular, Chris Pine was a standout to me. His character was super witty and had some funny lines in there as well, and I also liked how he wasn't your typical leader of the group. He wasn't the best at fighting and also didn't have to carry the group on his shoulders. Each of these characters relied on each other's strength to make this thing work, and I think that added to the charm of the movie. And for the other characters, I have to say, I really like Simon in this movie. He had this nonchalant, self-deprecating humor that just really worked for me. It didn't feel like he was trying to be funny, but his character in general was just funny. On a less serious note, and something I just thought was funny about this movie, is that the character Zank, I believe his name was, is the ultimate light skin in my opinion. If I could put every stereotype about a light skin in one person, it would be him. He was just so extra with everything he did, from the way he talked, to his fighting, and his whole demeanor overall, and honestly, I just thought that was funny, and I loved every part of that. He was one of my favorite characters to watch in this movie, and it was just super fun to see him interact with the other characters. And last but not least, Michelle Rodriguez was really good as Holga, but I'm gonna touch on her later when I get to the action. Next up, and this was really surprising to me about this movie, but it had a lot of emotion and it worked really well. Now, I think the chemistry that the cast had between each other had something to do with that, but I definitely didn't think I would care about Dungeons and Dragons characters as much as I did in this movie. I liked the whole storyline between Edgen and his daughter, but the real thing that stood out to me in this movie was Simon's journey. For me personally, I thought Simon's journey was really rewarding. We saw him struggle with his confidence throughout this movie, and then at the end we got a more confident Simon as he took on Sophina and really held its own, and in that moment I was really just cheering for him because we had just saw him kind of slowly build confidence throughout the movie and realized that it was him that was holding himself back, and I just thought that was really cool. And the last thing I thought was really good about this movie was the Action. More specifically, Holga's fight scenes. The choreography in some of her scenes were just great, and honestly, she's just a badass character overall. The final fight was also pretty good. It had some cool visuals, and it also had this one shot where everyone was fighting Sophina, and I just thought that looked awesome. All right, now time for the so-so. And first, I'm gonna go with the humor. I think overall, I like the humor, but not all of it landed for me, so that's why I have it at so-so. Don't get me wrong, this movie did get some genuine laughs out of me, but there were some times where this movie wanted to be funny, and it just didn't work for me. The humor's not terrible by any means, but I also can't say it's amazing, so it's right in the middle. Next is the CGI. Now, I I hate judging movies by the CGI because it has nothing to do with the story, but there were a couple shots in this movie where the CGI wasn't all that great. However, I do understand that this movie probably didn't have the biggest budget, so I'm okay with letting it slide, and that's all I'll say about that because, like I said before, I really don't like judging movies by CGI. The only movies you should really do that with is movies like Avatar where all the shots are CGI. Alright, let's get into the bad. Now as good as this movie was, it did have a pretty slow start. It started off with a lot of exposition and really didn't push the story forward at all. And I was sitting there in the theater thinking, man, I really hope this movie takes off. And thankfully, it did. This is one of those movies where if you get past that initial 20 minutes, it just gets better and better and better and it really turned out well. And lastly, and this is probably my least favorite part about this entire movie, and that is the villain. Now this movie technically had two villains, but Sophina ended up being that main villain. And honestly, it really just felt like she was there to be defeated. They did get into her backstory a little bit, but that really didn't explain much in my opinion. It kind of seems like she was one of those villains who is evil just because, well, she's evil. And I won't put it all on the character, I just think this is one of those cases where she just really didn't have much to do throughout the movie either until the very end. And this made her feel like kind of a side story because they really didn't go after her until the very end in that final battle. In my opinion, I probably would have just went with Forge as the one main villain. He had more of a personal connection to Edgen and the group, and if they would have explored that story a little bit more, I think he could have been a very intriguing villain. 
But overall, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a good movie. It's one of those movies you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. But those are my thoughts on Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com. God bless, and I'll see you later. Peace.